now students uh, let us uh, see the reverse engineering so what is reverse engineering so reverse engineering is the process of extracting the knowledge or design information from anything man made and reproducing it or reproducing anything based on the extracted information so this is the process that is we are having already something that is man made okay some system some process some parts some component already we are having so we are gathering all the uh, necessary information from that part okay our design information and based on that information we are reproducing okay that is a reverse engineering the process often involves disassembling something and analyzing its components and working details so you know very well in reverse engineering what we are doing we are disassembling the part then we collect all the information we analyze that part and <clears throat> we collect the working details of that so more and more models are being built from data generated using reverse engineering that is re reverse engineering three dimensional imaging equipment and softwares so by using this we can uh, generate or bring more more and more number of models so in this process the re is the process of capturing the geometric data from the another object so what is basically re as far as in this chapter is concerned the re is the process of capturing the geometric data from another object and this data is available in what is termed as this point cloud so where this data is available so in uh, point cloud form meaning an unconnected set of points representing the object surface so these are the unconnected set of points representing the object surface it is nothing but the point cloud form so these points are need to connect by using the this re software like geomagic so we are having this number of points in the point clouds and we have to connect that or connect those points by using the software like geomagic so in many cases the data will entirely com complete that is sample may be holding in the fixture so that the surface adjacent to the fixture may not scan or some internal features so the representation not turn out exactly how the object in the reality okay so that's why we use, use these softwares so engineering objects would normally scan using the laser scanning object having the complex internal features or anatomical models so make use of this ct that is computer tomography so where this computer tomography is used where the object having the complex internal features or the anatomical models so in that case we can go for this software computer uh, tomography so this technique work in similar fashion that af by scanning the layer by layer and using the software to join this layer and identify the solution boundaries so like the additive manufacturing approach this uh, computer tomography methodology rather i can say which can be also use this layer by layer approach okay so here they are scanning layer by layer and using the software to join these layers and we can identify the solution boundaries so in simple fashion and this is the flowchart for the reverse engineering you can say uh, first of all see the forward engineering that is our regular engineering we are having the requirements then we architect it 
uh, we make a design first then this design undergoing testing and after that we are implementing it yes or no or make the part so here we are disassembling the product get the required design information that is design recovery understood the design and from that we can go for the requirement recovery to the requirements so this is reverse engineering next thing the computer added engineering okay so here CAE is computer added engineering so here 3d CAD is extremely valuable resource for product design and development so for this CAE this three-dimensional computer added design is extremely valuable resource for the product design and development the major benefit is that we can easily and cheaply make the design changes the design changes are very cheap the more we know about the product before it is built the more effective that product is going to build definitely so more and more information we are having about the product before it is going to make so during the making of the product then it is very easy or it is not very difficult it is smooth it becomes smooth to make it when you know each and everything about the product so if the problems are identified after uh, physically make up of part this can be very costly isn't it so once we made all this uh, design process then according to that we uh, define the manufacturing uh, processes set of operations sequences we made the fixtures holding devices and we start the production and after starting of the production some problems are now getting rectified during the making of it okay so when the physical makeup is done all the setups are okay and then we are identifying some problem then it is very costly thing yes or no so here 3d can 3d cad can make use of am to help the visualization and perform basic test on candidate design prior to full scale commitment to the manufacturing that is thing here so this is the actual advantages of this in 3d cad we can make use of this additive manufacturing to help or we can visualize the performance or the some we can perform some basic test on that part okay before it is going to the full fledged manufacturing the 3d cad also link to other software packages often using technique this fem that is finite elemental methods okay and there is also the analysis okay so the fem to calculate mechanical properties of design collectively known as computer added engineering software so this uh, this 3d uh, cad we can connect or we can link the software to the finite element method where we can able to calculate various mechanical properties of the design and this collectively known as the computer added engineering means the CAD system along with this FEM is nothing but our computer added engineering softwares. So here the force, the dynamics, stresses, flows, certain properties can be calculated how well the design will perform under certain conditions. So in this software what we can do here we can calculate the forces the dynamics of that part the stresses involved the flow or certain properties can be calculated to determine how well the design will perform such a software cannot easily predict the exact behavior of the part 
so we are having all these things but certain things that cannot be easily predicted by the uh, software so the, the analysis for these critical parts the combination of this computer aided engineering engineering backed up with this additive manufacturing so based on the experiments and its analysis to give the useful solution understood so by knowing only these things by using such a softwares we cannot easily predict the behavior of the part okay so the for the analysis of this critical part the combination of this computer aided engineering we backed with backed up with the additive manufacturing and based on uh, some experimental analysis may be useful solution for those critical parts okay so next thing uh, we have to see the haptic based cad that is haptic based computer aided designing so in uh, 3d cad system only working good for the engineering products that we are familiar with but not suitable for the unusual designs that the design in these sculptures or the artistic design okay so many consumer products are developed from the artist and the designers rather than the engineers so it is not uh, necessary that every product get manufactured by the engineer so many products a uh, consumer products rather i can say these are designed from the designers and the artists so for those people our regular designing it's quite the limitations or boundaries for their thinking right so am is popular tool for artists and sculptors who are taking advantage of geometries free, free from so please very important word is geometries free from to create visually existing sculptures so this is uh, possible with this haptic based design uh, the haptic based computer aided design so see here the free form modeling the person is making the free uh, model from this uh, free form modeling system so this is regarding to the haptic based design computer aided design so haptic based cad modeling system like experimental system as shown in the picture work in a similar way to commercially available free form modeling system this is a free form modeling system to provide the design environment that is more intuitive than the standard cad system okay so this is basically the advantage of haptic based cad that is free from modeling also by the phantom which is haptic feedback device to provide force feedback relating to virtual modeling environment the object can be seen on screen but also felt in 3d space using the phantom so th these are the softwares so while making the drawing itself or making the design itself we can feel the three dimensional uh, space okay like the virtual designing okay so this is the haptic based cad modeling okay thank you